Every winter, we are encouraged by doctors, school administrators, and eager Walgreens employees to get vaccinated before flu season hits. But behind this annoying annual chore lies a virus whose ability to successfully invade our cells year after year reveals the true power of evolution. RNA influenza strains A and B can infect humans and contain eight gene segments that guide their invasion and subsequent manipulation of host cells. Two of these genes, hemagglutinin and neuraminidase, are of particular interest to scientists because they determine the structure of surface proteins detected by our immune systems. After one exposure to most viruses, our body's humoral immune systems develop antibodies that latch on to recognized strains before they're able to infect us a second time. This immune response can be triggered either naturally through infection or artificially by vaccination, and viruses must adapt accordingly to survive and replicate. Each time a virus's genetic material is copied when it infects an organism, there's potential for mutation. These typos and copying processes introduce changes that may affect the virus's characteristics, making it even more severe, which is why some strains of viruses are deadlier than others. Viruses can also change drastically when a cell is infected by two different viruses at the same time. This may allow the virus to exchange genetic information and generate new and potentially very dangerous viruses, including ones that can jump from one species to another, as is commonly seen with influenza. Imagine that a pig is infected by two viruses, one that can only infect pigs and another that can infect both pigs and people. The pig-only virus can pick up mutations from the people and pig virus. It could gain the ability to infect human cells. This situation is dangerous because the human immune system may have never encountered anything like the pig virus before and may be poorly equipped to attack it. To account for this rapid evolution, scientists perform genome sequencing on roughly 1,500 strains circulating each year. This process determines the order of nucleotides in each of the virus's genes. By comparing the sequences of viruses currently circulating with strains from previous years or used in vaccines, scientists are able to make informed predictions for an effective flu shot. However, because viral components evolve quickly, researchers are hoping to create a more universal vaccine that targets highly conserved regions of its structure in the future.